Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. And it's another weekend here on the homestead. And it's going to be a beautiful day. It's 25 degrees Celsius today. So it's going to be hot. Um, I thought I'd take this opportunity to thank you all. 2,900 subscribers and beautiful souls that's uh, subscribed to my channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I hope you continue enjoying the videos. And thank you for all the comments, negative and uh, positive. I read them all. And uh, I try to respond to each of those. I will be showing you all the structures that we've built so far, starting in 2021, since we moved here permanently. Um, so I'll be... Uh, touring you around <laughs> and, uh, and if you're new here um, please don't forget to watch the four part series of our story which is on the playlist and on the homepage of our channel uh, that just uh, that's just a summary of um, our journey uh, starting when we purchased the property in August of 2020 during pandemic and until we moved here permanently in 2021 of February and then until now. So uh, as you can see, I'm standing right in front of the first structure that we built last October of 2020, which is the composting toilet. <laughs> um, it's just a uh, crooked uh, structure. <laughs> and this is the first structure that Philip built uh, using pallet. This is a pallet here, and then a uh, used door. He insulated it too, but the insulation didn't really do much, but it helps in the winter. Because we use this toilet for number two all year round. And we use sawdust, we just have to refill that now. It doesn't smell if you want to know if it smells it doesn't we've been using this since uh, 2020 and we empty the the barrel which is under the toilet we empty that i think three four times a year and we empty that over there <laughs> so this is the back Although the property line is over there, so we're gonna walk inside here and I just want to show you the structure of the RV. As you know, we live in an RV. The RV is inside that structure. Um, maybe I'll uh, do another video for the whole structure and inside the RV as well, how we live. And that roof is temporary. Philip is working on the roof currently. So that's the mudroom. The mudroom and the wood stove is installed in the mudroom. So that's uh, really helpful in the winter. And this is what we call the mosquito room. Philip added this connecting the door of the mudroom and the container door to block the mosquitoes. We used to have a door here. It ended here before. Um, there used to be a screen here. This was not here yet. Um, but we added this last year. So it's like a deck, outdoor deck. But right now it's kind of my planting area. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Miley sleeps here in this bed. So that's like an outside deck. It's like a deck connected to the RV. And this is the shop. As you've seen some of our videos, we just finished the siding, uh, but it's not completely done. We still have some work to do inside and some work on the doors. Used to be a dog pen or dog kennel, but now uh, Mercedes and Benz are using it as their temporary pen. I have to do some work here later. I have to change their branches. Hi, Mercedes. 
Good morning. How's your tummy? Huh? <laughs> I'll see you shortly. This was our first woodshed. <laughs> uh, but now I'm using it as a storage for my pots and hoses in the winter and other things that I need for the garden. But I think uh, two years ago we built this woodshed. Or Philip built this woodshed. We stored the uh, hay here too for the goats and we still have some leftover wood, firewood for the winter. Yeah, we still have a lot of those piles that we haven't done and uh, haven't had a chance to <laughs> continue. And this is the, per the pump that we have uh, that was uh, drilled back in uh, November of 2021. And this is the first garden that we built in 2021 as well, spring of 2021. And yes, there's a lot of things growing. <laughs> All weeds only, just weeds. <laughs> We're gonna go this way. And outside the garden, I have my wildflower patch. Oh, look at that. First time. We're so late here. <sighs> There's dandelions now. And it's May. Second week, second week of May. And we went to town the other day and uh, it's just dandelions everywhere. Here it's just starting to pop up, so that's good. But we need a lot of rain. There's a story why we have a camper. Um, I would suggest to <laughs> watch out for the video about our off-grid journey before we even purchase the property. Uh, and part of that video is uh, when we purchased this camper. Um, January of 2020 before the word COVID became famous so now we use this as a guest uh, guest accommodation in the summer only so we have a platform here it's really uh, comfy for guests although it's just my mom and my uncle who stayed here so far and now we also have the shop loft Anyway, I was just saying that the Off-Grid Journey series will be on Philip's uh, channel. So look out for that. It's going to be soon. <laughs> There's going to be a premiere. <laughs> and anyway, uh, this is the orchard or our uh, little food forest. Maybe I'll show you shortly. Or... I think you've seen my previous videos but there's nothing much yet going but there's all the perennials starting to pop up the woodshed or not the woodshed the sawmill shed was completed by Philip I think two years ago now and the gate we didn't have gate for two years so that was uh, installed in uh, 2022, I believe. There's a robin eating on the ground. Let's continue. It's getting so hot. We have those chips sitting here. It's gonna de decompose and it will be ready for the garden. So that's old John. <laughs> old John Deere is there. We're thinking of selling that because uh, it's been just repair, repair all the time. That's another shed. Um, we store some stuff. I don't know what's in there now. Uh, the quad was uh, parked here in the winter. Oh, there's nothing much here. 
just some construction stuff. The high tunnel garden that we built uh, of 2021, I believe, summer of 2021. Hmm. Bond, be careful. Be careful. Oh my god, this. Are you crazy? Be careful. And then the coop was built uh, in the spring of 2022. So we're gonna. The plan is to build another coop properly done. I think somewhere there near the pond I'm not sure but yeah this worked well for the chickens especially in the winter because it's insulated and uh, we used a deep litter method for the bedding so they're warm okay Thank you. Everybody says hi. <laughs> and this is the triangle garden. We call it triangle because it's triangle shaped. And it's mostly... Uh, fruit vegetables and cabbages that I plant here and garlic it looks messy because all you can see is the cardboard boxes that I lay in between paths so there's not much weeds and as you know we also built a uh, greenhouse passive solar greenhouse which is uh, unfinished And you've seen that inside it's uh, you can see the other videos but I, of course we will have more content showing the uh, how we use it and how it's gonna work this summer we're missing a lot of parts and uh, we have to add more ventilation because it gets too hot here during the day so when it's 23 outside, it's going to be double. <laughs> it's at least 40 degrees, 45 degrees inside during the day. So I opened the, uh, the top here, the poly, but I'm going to have to remove more. So there's enough circulation. So as you can see, all the planties I have down there let's continue so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna walk here yeah it's still it's uh, it's still early but it's so hot inside now but okay now we are excited for this for this one this summer because it's too hot now this is the pool building it's another barn style building it's uh it's gonna be nice here soon we're gonna set up the pool and then uh, we will show you but yeah it's not used during uh, winter and we're heading to the favorite <laughs> built and structure our favorite structure and the most uh, I believe uh, for me it's top one so proud of Philip on this one nicely done our root cellar uh, I cannot see any greens yet, but I'm sure the grass are starting to grow, so I'm sure it's gonna be all green soon, hopefully. 
Yeah. And the pond, this was dug in 2021 as well. The snow melts from the top of the property or from the north side, all melts in the pond. But it's starting to drain so fast because it's been so dry. Yeah, I don't know how long if this is gonna last. Bun! Meow! Bun! No! You're crazy. So for this year, uh, Philip's focus is the roof of the, uh, the RV. As you can see, it's just a tarp. I don't know if you can tell. Let's zoom it. It's just a tarp and wood. It lasted uh, two winters. Uh, we didn't think that it's gonna last for two winters. Uh, but this year it has to get done because in case, God forbid, uh, of wildfire, at least, you know, uh, there's already metal roof installed, so we're safer. And after the roof, once he's uh, completed that, um, the focus is to complete the greenhouse that has to be done before winter so we can grow uh, vegetables over the winter. And then, I don't know yet, <laughs> we're planning as we go, we build as we go, depending on the funds that we have, because we, we just want everything to be, you know, done properly and while not owing anything, or not owing anything to anybody, that's number one. Um, Anyway, I think I've shown you everything that we've built so far. We're still too far from being self-sufficient. We're probably not even halfway there. <laughs> but, you know, uh, one day at a time. And we're closer, we're one step closer to being there. You know, you just have to keep working. At least we're here, we're living our dream, and we're so happy. We just feel so blessed to be living here. Um, yeah, I just cannot imagine <laughs> living in the city again. Sorry. Or I would say I cannot imagine my life living in the city. Experiencing this is just, um, uh, what's the proper word? It's hard, but. It's rewarding and fulfilling and you know you cannot compare the joy that this gives me and Philip especially uh, you know when we accomplish something when we're going through tough times it's been a challenge. It's been mostly a challenge. I am just being honest with you. The first few years or the first couple of years. Um, I would cry. Uh, I would sit in the forest and just, you know, take it all in. I cry because um, my body's tired. I'm tired, but I'm just... I feel so blessed to be here. We love it here and we love our life. We love this life. 
and I hope you you will understand what I'm saying but um if um I just don't want this to end. There's a lot of worries. There's a lot of uncertainty in the world. We don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. A lot of bad things are happening in the world. Yeah, I don't know. But as long as we're here, as long as we're together, we have our own thing going on. We have our own world here. We have our animals. That's what's important for us. I may be far from my family. I haven't seen them in a long time. All my family are back home in the Philippines. I haven't seen them since 2018. It's hard to, to leave and the, you know, the money that will go on the flights <laughs> and the expense you know we would we'd rather use it here so this channel i started this channel just because i want to be able to you know help i want to be able to um use that funds to be able to go on vacation visit my family and uh, not be able to work eight hours a day five days a week <laughs> and just be able to help philip in building structures that we need here and just just creating every day you know i love spending time in the garden taking care of the animals um doing house chores but i don't have enough time i want to be able to have more time creating and uh, building our life continuously because um, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow um, it's you know in inevitable we talk about that once in a while and we just have to face reality um, but right now what's important is today today is uh, the best day <laughs> tomorrow we may we, 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 that we don't know if we're gonna wake up tomorrow so today is important than yesterday and tomorrow <laughs> anyway I'm sorry for being emotional I'm sure some of you will understand and uh, some of you are experiencing what I am experiencing right now and if you haven't I hope that one day you will just uh, follow your dream. It's just unbelievable how uh, 2020, four years ago, this time when we decided, not even decided, that we're gonna live off grid and we're here. <laughs> Every time we look back, yeah, it's uh, crazy. But anyway, Thank you guys so much for listening and um, if you haven't subscribed yet please do that would uh, help a lot and uh, please like and comment and uh, let me know what you want to see um, if you have questions or if you have anything that you want to say I would appreciate it. So thank you so much and I hope you enjoy your day. Thank you and I'll see you next time.